Okay, it's 15 minutes later. Here's the piece I did. And there's some little staining up there, which is cool because it's right, it's by this exhaust port. I like that. There's some other staining here and there, not a problem. Um, if you're trying to make a super smooth coat with this, it's not the paint for you. If you're trying to make something look like it's uh, been out in the elements for a little bit, but not a rust bucket, then this is pretty, pretty good. There's a mark here. No big deal. Take care of that later. Otherwise, if it, it's 15 minutes later, this is dry. Dry. Totally dry. And I'm probably going to use some, I'll, I'll probably use some Agrax Earthshade on this. I'll use that later. Alright, I got the cup loaded again. 60 pounds, 50-50, 91% alcohol, and paint. Uh-oh. What the heck did I do? I was cleaning the airbrush, and now... Oh, that's behind the nozzle. Okay, we got it. We're back in business. As I suspected, contrast paint is 100% dissolvable with alcohol. Just like any other modern paint. 91% alcohol literally washes it away. So it thins pretty good with this. 60 pounds, 50-50. Let's hit it again. We're going to hit this up. Hang on. Okay, nice. There we go. This is white Krylon primer, auto primer. I happen to like it because it's super thin. And to avoid splotching, I always turn away when I start the airbrushing. And it's, I can see that it is drying as I put it on. It's flowing nicely. There goes the air compressor. I'm using a three gallon air compressor. Um, I don't care for those small airbrush compressors. I think they're worthless. bigger one yet I've got a hot dog that was less than a hundred bucks and then I got the great big one so when I want to do this outside I can the way this goes on. With it, now, if you are a model railroader and you're trying to make something look brand new, this is not the paint for you. If you have intentions of giving this some, especially if you're into panel lining like the fine scale modelers do, this is the paint for you. This is good stuff. 
I'm liking the way this orange is turning out. And if you're a Wargamer, or Warhammer, and you have large pieces, units that you are going to paint, um, yeah, you can do this. I don't know about painting figures. I don't paint figures. So I couldn't really say anything about it. Oh yes, this piece right here is metal. And I'm guessing we're going to get, we might get the contrast effect on that. That might be kind of cool. With the alcohol, it's pretty runny. So we might get some contrast paint effect. And it'd be cool if we just got a little effect. Because really, we're gonna, since we're adding a shade later, um, we don't need this to be all in one for our project. Goes on nice and smooth. All right. I will show you what happens next.